Hey everyone, I'm Joshua Oro, the Mustang Prince, and welcome to Mustang Prince Oro Reports. Now, I gotta say, I'm not looking forward to what I'm, what I'm about to blog today, because this film is actually based on a cartoon series that I used to watch as a kid. The cartoon was, believe it or not, Alvin and the Chipmunks. Now, let's start with a little history lesson. Alvin and the Chipmunks is an American animated music group created by Ross Bagnasarian Sr. for a novelty record in 1958. The group consists of three singing animated anthropomorphic chipmunks. Alvin, the mischievous troublemaker who quickly became the star of the group, Simon, the tall intellectual, and Theodore, the chubby impressionable one. The trio is managed by their human adopted father, David Seville. In reality, David Seville was Bagnasarian's stage name, and the chipmunks themselves are named after the executives of their original record labels. The characters became a huge success, and the singing chipmunks and their manager were given life in several animated cartoon productions using redrawn anthropomorphic chipmunks and eventual films. Now, as a kid, me and my sister have seen several episodes from their show, including Rocking with the Chipmunks, starring Fresh Prince, A Chipmunk Christmas, two Halloween films, The Chipmunk Adventure, and of course, several episodes that parody classic films. But then, in 2007, the Chipmunks went to live action, where they did a modern day setting of their origin story on how they became world famous pop stars. To me, it was okay. Not perfect, mind you, but just okay. Then, two years later, they got a sequel where not only did they meet the Chipettes, but they also went to high school. That was amazing. But the movie was still pretty much a big wacko. Then, in 2011, a third film came along called Chipwrecked. To me, that was where things completely jumped the shark, with weird humor, silly and raunchy pop songs, and of course, a volcano eruption near the end. However, the film I'll be looking into today is what I consider to be a really insane part of the franchise. So let's just get this over with already. Released on December 18th, 2015, the movie is Alvin and the Chipmunks, The Road Chip. Music manager Dave is not only enjoying a burgeoning career, but a blossoming romance with Samantha, a beautiful doctor who works in the emergency room. Through a series of misunderstandings, the Chipmunks start to believe that a marriage proposal is on the horizon. During the thought of an antagonist stepbrother, Alvin, Simon, and Theodore embark on a cross-country well, odyssey to prevent their best pal from ruining their lives. So, my thoughts? Yes. This film is bad. But let's just move on to Mustang Notes. Now, in June 2013, 20th Century Fox announced that a fourth installment, Alvin the Chipmunks 4, would be released in December 11, 2015. In August 2014, Randy Mayhem's singer signed on to write the fourth installment. 
On December 18, 2014, it was announced that Walt Becker signed on to direct the movie, and that the film would be released on December 23, 2015. The movie was officially released on December 18, 2015. Principal photography began on March 16, 2015, and ended on May 20th, 2015. Mark Mothersbaugh, who previously scored Alvin the Chipmunks Chipwrecked, returned to score The Road Ship. Speaking of which, the songs are the best part of the movie to me. Some of my favorites are Juicy Wiggle, Conga, and Uptown Funk. Now, the things that I don't like in this film are most of the humor that happens. Sometimes it can be gross or very predictable. Plus, and this is mainly the problem I have with the whole franchise, the chipmunks in these movies are portrayed differently than their cartoon counterparts. In other words, they're shown the size of normal chipmunks, while in the cartoon, they're the size of a human child. Also, things can sometimes go way over the top, like all the mischief that Alvin causes, including the fact that the boys misunderstood what Dave and Samantha were doing. But, I have to give this film a little credit for showing certain USA landmarks the chipmunks go to along the way to Miami. My favorite being New Orleans. And it's not because of the big dance party that happens. Nope. It's because I was on vacation in New Orleans during the very month that this film got released in theaters. Anyway, now that we're done with Mustang Notes, let's move on to the cast and characters. Now, let's begin with our title stars, Alvin, Simon, and Theodore, voiced by Justin Long, Matthew Gray Goobler, and Jesse McCartney. Now, while they're portrayed differently than the cartoon, their personalities are still pretty much the same. Alvin is still the leader and mostly gets himself and his brothers into trouble. Simon is the brains of the group with a dry sense of humor and a keen wit. And Theodore is the youngest of the group and is described as shy, loving, sensitive, gullible, trusting, naive, and innocent. The chipmunk's surrogate father, David Seville, is played by Jason Lee, whom I remember from Underdog and The Incredibles. In this film, Dave changes careers and decides to become a music producer. The career swap leaves no time for the boys to tour, and less time for Dave to be involved as a father. But as a result of uncertainties, Dave finally decides to formally adopt them and cement the idea that they are indeed a family. Hmm. Wish Dave could have officially adopted the boys in the first film, though. Next we have Samantha, played by Kimberly Williams Paisley. Samantha first meets the chipmunks while at a mini-golf course where they learn that she's a doctor. She's seen as forgettable as she twice forgets she wears her stethoscope outside work. <laughs> but after the first time, she generously gives the, steth the stethoscope to Simon. She also encourages Dave to be more of a good cop when it comes to punishment of the chipmunks. Samantha's son, Miles, is played by Josh Green. Now, Miles is shown to be a bully due to his l dislike for the group. He hangs Theodore on windmill, he hits Alvin with a golf club, and locks the chipmunks outside of their house. After he learns of the potential proposal between his mother and Dave, he agrees to work with the three boys so none of them will have to deal with each other as a family. But during the trip to Miami... 
The boys bond, and it's revealed that Miles' father left him when he was younger, which tarnishes his appeal of fathers in general. Next we have Agent James Suggs, played by Tony Hale. Known for being in The Tale of Despero and the weird RV movie. Now, this guy is our villain who, after what happened on the plane, puts the chipmunks on the no-fly list and chases them across the country. And why is he the villain? Well, because he blames the chipmunks for his girlfriend dumping him and for ruining his perfect record of no incidents, effectively eliminating his shot at becoming an FBI agent. To me, that is a poor excuse to hate the chipmunks. We also have the Chipettes, Brittany, Jeanette, and Eleanor, voiced by Christina Applegate, Anna Faris, and Kaylee Kukio. Their roles in this film are not as big or important as their roles from the Squeakquel or Chipwrecked. What they do in this film is act as judges on American Idol, and later help the boys with a song at the launch party in Miami. Other actors who appear in this film are Bella Thorne, Eddie Steeples, Maxie McClintock, and Jennifer Coolidge. Now, let's move on to my final words. Well, like I said earlier, Alvin and the Chipmunks, the road ship is bad. But not Food Fight or Angry Birds movie bad, but still pretty bad. The acting is okay, including the voice acting, and several of the songs are pretty good, and the landmarks that the Chipmunks visit are cool, but it doesn't make up the atrocious story, dumb humor, and the villain who has a poor excuse to hate the chipmunks. So, do I recommend this movie? Well, absolutely not. So with that said, this is the worst Alvin the Chipmunks movie I've ever seen, and it deserves a rating of 31% out of 100. But, if you think this film is bad, just wait till next time, because I'm going to look into something so outrageous that it tanked big time. Mustang power. Elvis!